The immediate Tampa Bay area, Hillsboro, Pinellas, and Pasco counties, is one of the largest metropolitan areas in the country. The area's major waterways include the Hillsboro, Alafaya, Anclote, and Little Manatee Rivers, and the region's namesake, Tampa Bay. The region's population of nearly two and a half million is larger than 18 of the 50 states. While supplying enough water for people and the economic engine that supports them, the need to protect the area's fragile environment is the primary water issue facing Tampa Bay. For decades, it was cheap to pump groundwater. But as the area grew, the effects of too much pumping began to appear. Lake levels dropped. Wetlands, streams, and creeks dried up. Along the coast, salt water intruded into freshwater wells. To reverse this trend, the district adopted an approach that includes regulation, conservation, and development of alternative sources to groundwater. Many of the water-related problems began prior to regulation. Today, the district's permitting process determines the amount of water needed and requires efficient use while protecting our water resources and the environment. In addition to permitting, the district promotes conservation through public awareness and education, funding programs to make water fixtures more efficient, working with industry and agriculture to reduce their use of groundwater, and partnering with others to promote Florida-friendly landscaping. The district also funds alternative sources to groundwater. A major alternative is reclaimed water which is processed from wastewater and used primarily for irrigation, manufacturing purposes, and power generation. It's believed that up to 50% of the water pumped to homes in Tampa Bay is used for landscaping and that about a third is wasted because of poorly designed or misused sprinkler systems. Using reclaimed water saves millions of gallons of fresh water a day. The district is working with utilities and Tampa Bay Water, the regional wholesale water utility, to develop a regional reclaimed water project. This project will fully use all the reclaimed water from the city of Tampa's wastewater treatment facility during both the dry and wet seasons. This project will meet irrigation needs, provide environmental restoration, ensure adequate flows in the Hillsborough River, and increase the available potable water supplies. Another alternative is desalination of brackish water and seawater. Desalination can provide a vast and essentially drought-proof water supply. Historically, desalination has been more costly than traditional water resources. However, technological advances have made the cost of desalinated water more competitive with other sources. Brackish water which is less salty than seawater, is easier and cheaper to treat. Dozens of treatment plants operate along the state's coastline. The increased use of surface water from rivers and lakes can also provide an alternative. Maximizing the use of surface water requires sufficient storage to capture water during high flows to be used during the dry season. A reservoir is one water storage method. Another storage method is aquifer storage and recovery, or ASR. Treated water is typically injected into the brackish part of the aquifer, where it is stored until needed. For the Tampa Bay area, population growth is not only a water supply challenge. Construction needed to support new arrivals has replaced wetlands and other habitat, which historically served as natural water filtering systems. Stormwater runoff with nutrients and pollutants carried with it can be a significant problem, choking lakes and ponds and reducing overall water quality. The bay itself, reflecting the health of the area's ecosystem, was by the late 1970s in bad shape. This was prior to the district's stormwater permitting program. Seagrasses, an important water quality indicator, had fallen to about 20% of estimated historic levels, threatening the environmentally and economically important Tampa Bay estuary. 
The district initiated a series of projects with local governments and state and federal agencies to restore habitat and to improve water quality. The bay's seagrass level, though still far from historic highs, has shown marked improvement since the establishment of the district's programs. The district acquires land not only for habitat restoration, but also to preserve water quality, reserve a future water supply source, or provide special aquifer recharge areas. District lands are often managed by local governments providing recreational opportunities, hiking, bicycling, camping, horseback riding, fishing, hunting, for thousands of residents and visitors each year. Land acquisition also serves the district's original responsibility, flood protection. The district lands along the lower Hillsborough area are primarily for storing flood waters. District land was also used to develop the Tampa Bypass Canal. The canal has diverted billions of gallons of water a day from the Hillsborough River, protecting large sections of the cities of Tampa and Temple Terrace from historical flooding. The canal also serves as a freshwater supply source. The Tampa Bay region faces continuing challenges to provide an adequate water supply while also protecting its environment. The district is dedicated to meeting the challenge. New alternative water sources have become reality and the impacts of excessive groundwater withdrawals are being resolved. Water remains at the heart of the region's economy and quality of life.